All right, you guys, so um, I came out here this morning to feed and um, went and checked on the goats here in the barn and stepped outside to check on fire, fire lily and moonstar. And the two little buggers decided to both kid their babies out probably in the last half hour um, next to each other. It was a mess. Fire Lily had one that she had just birthed out in the sack still. It ended up drowning in its fluid, so it was dead. Um, there was another one laying there just covered in dirt and whatnot, and um, she was not doing very well. So I took her in the house, washed her off. We got her immediately under some heat. The girls have been trying to like keep her warm. And then we put both Fire Lily and Moonstar in the um, barn here to try to see whose baby was who and what they wanted to do. Um, Fire Lily decided right off the bat she didn't want anything to do with any of them. I even tried giving back her dead baby to see if she would try cleaning it off or do anything and she wanted nothing to do with it. She's actually outside eating um, hay with the other mamas and Moonstar's in here um, taking care of, I believe, what is two of her babies and one of Fire Lily's. Um, and she seems pretty okay with all three of them. Um, in fact, when I had come out, Moonstar was actually cleaning um, Fire Lily's uh, birth that was actually hanging out of her. So she's like eating it up and everything. So I don't think she really has a problem with this little baby. But since we're in trying to get the um, little girl in the house to survive, if she ends up surviving as a bottle baby, we might pull um, the other doling that's here on Moonstar and just have two bottle babies in the house. But right now I'm out here. I'm going to try to see if I can get these guys to nurse. They seem like they have already. Um, the two black ones were already dried and pretty cleaned off. Um, and I believe that they had at least, maybe one of them had at least nursed off one side. When I checked Moonstar's udder, um, one side was soft and the other side still had the plug. So I had to clean the, the wax plug out and get it flowing. Um, but yeah, she's here loving on these guys and seems to be decent with them. So we'll see how it goes, but not how I wanted to start my morning. These girls did not um, show any signs yesterday that they were um, going to be delivering today. They hadn't dropped, their udders weren't full, and they still had their ligaments. So it was kind of a surprise today um, to walk out and see that this morning. And quite frustrating because had I had any inkling, they would have been in here in the barn and at least we would have been able to watch them on the baby monitor and have an idea of what was going on. So I'm kind of frustrated about that, but it is what it is. So I'm pretty certain that those two black ones are moon stars and that this buckskin is fire lilies. Um, these two were already dried off. Um, she was pretty cleaned up and like I said, it seemed like one had already nursed. So um, I'm pretty certain that those are hers. And then the buckskin was pretty wet and still fresh. Um, like I said, I think that one was fire lilies, but Moonstar seems to be in love with it. You got it. She wants to feed you. Here. Here it is. Yeah. Oh, it's right there. Good job. Right there. Right there. Seriously. It's not that hard to find. I'm literally putting it in your mouth. I know what just happened. I know what just happened. It's not fair, huh? You're just like, what's going on? Okay, he still wants more though. So let's try the other side where it doesn't seem like as many nursed. You look disgusting. You didn't get very good and cleaned off. No, you didn't. Is that what you needed? Was just a little belly full? Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't have the things. This this lady has the things. Anyways, can we get you cleaned off a little bit more? So I took a gamble, um, figuring that Moonstar would probably adopt Fire Lily's baby, and she did. So she's currently 
um, taking care of her two babies, a little doling and a little buckling, and she is also taking care of um, Fire Lily's baby, which is a little um, buckskin buckling. So with the runt that was in the house, I ended up mixing up some um, pre-made colostrum for her just to get her started and then later had come out and milked Fire Lily and fed her some of that. Um, we ended up taking care of her in the house for a while and then I set her up with a little bucket and brought her out here under a heat lamp in the barn. Um, but she was pretty upset being by herself so I took a gamble again and ended up throwing her in a stall with Moonstar and the babies. And Moonstar um, really did not mind that she was there. She didn't seem interested in mothering her but she accepted her into the crew. So yesterday I bottle fed the little runt. Um, I ended up milking Fire Lily and then I later ended up feeding some of that milk back to the baby because I'm like, why should I be mixing up um, powdered milk when I have a dough that is in milk but refusing to take care of anybody. So what I found to be pretty interesting was even though Fire Lily didn't care to have um, her babies, as the day progressed, Fire Lily became agitated and she was running around outside screaming like she was looking for lost babies. So I ended up throwing her in the pen with Moonstar just to see what she'd do. And it was nuts. Like she took some interest in the little runt, but what she ended up doing was um, licking and cleaning and talking to Moonstar like Moonstar was her baby. <laughs> so um, I guess with the confusion of them birthing together her being a first freshener and stuff she just had everything mixed up i think the outcome probably would have been different if she had been able to birth by herself and um maybe had me there with her so i ended up leaving her in the pen with moonstar for a little bit but then i was worried that her being in there was going to cause an issue with moonstar bonding to the baby so i ended up taking her out and and fire lily was pretty upset about it um, I threw her out with the rest of the does for the rest of the day, but this morning I ended up um, coming in and bottle feeding the little baby and then a little bit later after um, some time had gone on, I was kind of curious because Fire Lily was still like acting distraught that she'd lost her baby. So I put her back in with Moonstar and she did mother Moonstar, but she was again showing some interest in the little runt. So I cleaned pins and threw her in her own little stall with the baby, with the little runt. And lo and behold, she has accepted it. I'm kind of excited that um, I don't have to bottle feed a little baby and that like Fire Lily actually is come to her senses and realizing that like she had babies and this is one of hers. So yeah, it was quite the adventure yesterday. Um, not expected and it kind of threw us for a loop. So um, I guess that's the problem with first fresheners is, you know, they're just confused little ladies who don't know what's going on or what's happening to them. Um, but I'm glad that Moonstar ended up adopting Fire Lilies and that Fire Lily ended up taking on the little runt. So I couldn't ask for it to end any better. But unfortunately, in the mix of it all, we did end up losing a little baby that was a completely preventable death had I been out here with her or she had actually gotten up and taken care of her baby like she should have. So a little bit frustrating, but it's just part of it. All in all, everybody's doing good. And seriously, I'm happy that she decided to step up and take care of her baby. Like, she, like, like a mama should.